Hello everyone, this is going to be our last drive of the day. This historically has gotten several zero disengagement drives and many single disengagement drives. So we're going to see what this gives us here. See if we can get a zero disengagement on version 10.1. Um, as you can see from my previous videos this week, 10.1 has not had a great time today. Not green at all. It's good to go. Come on. Okay. Yeah. It basically almost floors it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I, I just... Everyone wonders. It's like some people have really good updates and some people have really terrible updates. And then all of a sudden they flip-flop. It's like... It's like the... Each area is fighting against each other. Like, my data gets uploaded and adjusted neural net. And now, because I drive differently, my area drives differently than, say, someone in Los Angeles, then now their area is going to react differently because it has different type of roads. And it's like that is just fighting back and forth. And it, it maybe that's what's happening, maybe that's not, I don't know. But um, it's definitely an interesting thing that's going on like I'm gonna be critical on this drive like this this is a bug that this is very clear a bug that's never happened before if there's no reason there's not even a turn there's no reason the right turn lane should have like gone up at all I mean turn single that right there is caused by most issues today. It has to be a bug. We're going to attribute it to be a bug um, in this version. Which, regardless is a bug or not, that does make this version worse than 10.01. Which, I guess Elon just needs to shut his mouth and just do his engineering because he said repeatedly, well, 10.1 is going to have full stack, 10.1 is going to have reverse, and all this other stuff, I'm like, but it didn't but no one ever communicated that it changed. And so we're just assuming everyone's like, oh, it doesn't have full stack or not. And you expect, oh, it has awesome features. I'm like, if 10 was supposed to be mind-blowing, well, 10.1's even worse. Like, I don't understand, like, you're supposed to get better. I know, I understand you're not always gonna get better with each update, and that, that's just how software works. This is one of those rare updates where I, it, not much is better. There's more worse about this update than there is better. And so, we're, we're going to continue testing our normal routes uh, throughout the week and throughout next week. And they might they might release another update at the end of the week. So, we'll, we'll see uh, if I even get all my videos out. Um, but um, maybe I'll release a couple a day. Um, I'm just, I'll find out. The stop sign. I. Yeah. Still doesn't. Still tries and stops. I've had it once not stop at that stop sign in the last um, five versions. It needs to slow down. Oh my goodness. And it jammed on the brake. Okay, you can go. I'm pressing the accelerator. So that's me, that was me accelerating that entire amount. And it doesn't turn the blinker off for some reason. That's, there's a bug with the blinker, I'm, I'm convinced. I'm convinced, there's 100% a bug with the blinker in this version. Like, it, it doesn't cancel the same way as it did previously. Hopefully it's not by design because that's that's they even need to communicate what they're doing Otherwise it makes zero sense from the beta tester perspective multiple people have reported this and like it just doesn't make any sense From the perspective of the beta tester. I'm like well, what what exactly is going on here? Why? Uh, is the blinker just randomly turning on why do we no longer have Yeah, and see, it still goes up to 30 and back to 20. <laughs> um, and we need to get over um, in the left lane here. I'm going to slow down. Of 
course the car next to me slows down. Speed up car, come on. Like this car right here is letting me in. But it was more aggressive earlier today than the the needle. But today, oh well today, it's the same day. This afternoon, it just, it, as you can see, it was turning. Well, that's an edge case if I've ever seen one. How did a ball get thrown across? That's not a lane. Well, that was obviously not a zero disengage and drive, but we had a good edge case. <laughs> Someone threw a ball across the road. It's not going to read the speed limit sign still. Okay, so it's done all this stuff well. Let's see if it turns the blinker on for the highway. No, it doesn't. But it did get over better. Oh, I want to say better, but it got it got over acceptably. Uh, I didn't that that part didn't get worse. But it decided not to turn the blinker on. I don't understand why. Like one version, it starts turning the blinker on. The next version, it doesn't do that. Here. Okay, I'm. I don't trust it to merge until full stack. Uh, so yeah, that's that's gonna be. In I don't. Yeah, that's um. Those type of merges when you have cars that can't get over. Uh, I don't. I don't trust uh, autopilot yet to do that. It's just. Because what happens is, as you're aware of my videos, it swerves into the highway here, and it's just, it's too dangerous at high speeds, so I'm not going to do that. Gone off the exit really well right there. Let's see if it messes up here. It did. I didn't record it, but it did once on 10.01. Okay, so it's good. It actually tried to turn there on 10.01. Hey, I'm I'm looking. I'm trying to check the blind spot you never see. Car. Said there's a car coming on my left. It actually saw it. Great. Fantastic. Okay, you're good to go. Okay, I had the yes, accelerator. Okay. Um. Hey everyone, on uh, that drive, uh, as you can see, um, it's essentially two disengagements. Uh, one and a half. We'll call it two. Um, that uh, ball in the street definitely um, was an edge, edge case. Um, kind of glad we, we caught that. That's uh, it's, it's cool finding a little edge cases like that. 
but it's um, not going to discount this one. This drive felt mostly normal except for the very beginning where it turned on the right turn signal for no reason. That is the theme of version 10.1, that it just turns on the turn signal for no reason and messes stuff up and I can't cancel the turn signal now. Even with the stock, it doesn't let me cancel half the time. So um, that's been the main main problem with 10.1 and it's caused most of my issues. Uh, again, routing issues. Again, uh, but if you have any questions regarding that or any comments, I would love to hear you down below. And I uh, will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.